we back tonight. Uh, I was gonna make a video until tomorrow about this topic. But I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it, guys. Super ego is really getting out of hand, okay? Super scam is getting out of hand. We got folks out here hitting people on the side of the roads now, okay? Doing hit and runs. I'm gonna show you a little clip right here. And we'll talk about it, all right? Happened this afternoon on Interstate 44 in Sullivan. The victim was changing a tire when he was hit. Missouri State Highway Patrol says the semi is maroon with the word ego in black and blue on the side. It has damage to the front passenger side. Anyone who sees this semi should call. So there you have it, guys. One of these super ego drivers out here in a red truck or maroon truck did a hit and run in Missouri. They killed that man, all right? And they decided that running is gonna be the, you know, the way to go? No, I don't think so. A lot of people are looking for this guy or woman who hit this guy on the side of the road, okay? The article says, authorities are looking for a driver of a semi-truck they said was involved in a federal hit and run in Missouri. According to Missouri State Highway Patrol, a 60-year-old man was struck and killed on the side of Interstate 44, a civilian on a Monday afternoon. The accident happened just after 1.30 p.m., mile marker 225, an hour southwest of St. Louis. Police also said two cars were parked on the shoulder of I-44 when the my truck side swiped both vehicles and struck a 60-year-old man killing him, okay? So this guy, I'm going to assume, okay, I don't know for sure, maybe he um, fell asleep, didn't see the guy on the side of, on the highway, hit him, hit the cars, killed him. Um, maybe he panicked, kept pushing. Uh, maybe he just didn't care. You know, we all don't really know the full story till they catch him. They should be able to pull up um, that truck, okay? If it's Super Ego, Super Ego got trackers in their trucks, okay? Now, if it's like one of parent companies, uh, side company that Super Ego has, they all need to come together and figure out which truck was in that location at that time, okay? It shouldn't be that hard to do. Now, Super Ego don't want to cooperate when the authorities come to them to find out what kind of truck or who truck that is or what company that truck belonged to, they need to be shut down, okay? They gotta get out of here, they gotta go. Um, Super Ego began so much bad press throughout the entire industry as it is, all right? One of the worst companies you can go to. Now they got this hanging over their head, all right? Well, they really, when the authorities really get into Super Ego, they're gonna see if all these falsified laws and all that stuff. They'll be in, they're already in the lawsuit. It'll be a lot of heat, okay? Because this brings a lot of attention to that company, all right? Because the trailer is on the news, all right? Hope they catch this guy. He's one of the, the worst people to be out here driving. If he's hitting folks and just keep it pushing, he most likely already done abandoned that trailer, you know. And probably just bobtailing or probably getting off the road for a while just because his truck is on the internet. I'm not sure it's a Kenworth for what that is. It's like a Kenworth, I don't know. But stuff like this definitely should not happen, okay? Hope they catch this guy. But tell me what I think about this in the comment section. Should Super Ego get shut down? You know. Should they still remain in business if they do not help the authorities locate this driver? I find out which side company's driver may work for because like I said, Super Eagle have a lot of parent companies and a lot of companies under them that um that, that work with Ego to help pull their trailers, you know. So it shouldn't be that hard to really pinpoint um, every truck location in that area and see what's going on, you know, to, to narrow it down who exactly was in that area by then and what was they doing, what load that was hauling during that time through that state. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, peace out. You guys have a wonderful night. 
and happy Thanksgiving. Peace out. What's good, y'all? It's your boy. So, I had to scope it out, stuff like that. I don't know what they got going on in headquarters. I'm talking about the pen looking right. They missing miles that you're running. I don't know what happened. Uh, Lafayette, Georgia. And head on to Commerce. Time for my shift. You know where night shift is. It's gonna get dark. I gotta head on out.